problem, you are already provided with the size of the fragment obtained upon single and double digestion. However, we all know that these results were obtained after running the restriction digestion mixture on an agarose gel. That's why one must know how to create a restriction map looking at the banding pattern obtained on the gel. If you have any doubts about the principle of agarose gel electrophoresis, please refer to my previous video on agarose gel electrophoresis and then continue watching this. So here you can see the gel wherein in the first lane you loaded a DNA ladder. In the second lane you loaded the DNA sample that was digested using HEPA1 restriction enzyme. In the third lane you loaded the same DNA sample digested with HIND3 restriction enzyme. And in the last lane, you loaded the same DNA sample which was digested with both restriction enzymes that is HEPA1 and HIND3. These kind of problems will also specify what is the nature of the DNA sample that is if it is linear or circular. You need to remember that the smaller fragments will move faster and thus the bands will be obtained towards the bottom of the gel. Also sometimes some bands are broader compared to the other band. This means that the intensity of DNA at this band is high compared to the intensity of DNA at the other bands. Imagine that I took one pizza and I divided it into five slices of different shapes. And then I arrange all the similarly sized fragments or the slices on top of each other. We only have two 7% slices. Rest other slices are not similar in sizes. Thus, only the 7% slices can stack one above the each, each other forming a stack which is double the height as compared to the other slices. The same thing happens with your DNA fragments. When you have two fragments of the same size coming from the same DNA sample, they can stack at one place during agarose gel electrophoresis giving you a broader band of high intensity. Most of the times in the problem it will be mentioned if you need to consider it as two bands that is two fragments of same size or as three bands that is three fragments of same size or so on. Now you can create a table that mentions the different sizes of the fragment based on the DNA ladder that is you can make out that in lane 3 where the DNA di is digested with HIND3 in this lane you have a 13 kb fragment, a 6 kb fragment, a 4 kb fragment and a 3 kb fragment. Similarly you can fill in all other fragments and solve the problem according to my previous video on restriction mapping of circular DNA. However, if you look at the gel image clearly, there is no need to write down the size of the fragments to find out which fragment is missing. You can clearly see that the 13 kb fragment is missing in the double digestion. And a new 7 kb and 6 kb fragment is generated. This means that the 13 kb fragment was divided into 7 kb and 6 kb fragments by HEPA1 restriction enzyme. You can now just start creating the restriction map based on this information. Please refer to the video on restriction mapping of circular DNA on how to create the restriction map. If this video was helpful then please like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to leave us your valuable comments. Thank you.